The end of another academic school year, but some schools are left with a serious reality, counting the cost of unmet student lunch balances. Our Jasmine Bird was at East Limestone High School, which has one of the highest debt amounts in its school district. We have several accounts that are unpaid. Um, we have sent out emails all month long to let parents know that these accounts have not been met. East Limestone High School cafeteria manager Rania Johnson says these balances have to be met. Well, accounts have to be paid somehow, some way. They're, 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 they have to be met. Um, they can't go into the negative continuing into next year because then it would just be a snowball effect of continuing to stay negative. And one thing to keep in mind, no student is turned away or denied a meal due to an unpaid lunch balance. They um, will always receive a meal, um, which can include anything that is being served for that day. They're not allowed to get anything extra, like our a la carte items, or if they wanted extra pizza or something along those lines. But no child will ever walk away and be told that they didn't get offered a meal, even with a negative account. East Limestone High School and Creekside Elementary have the highest unmet lunch debt amounts in the Limestone County school system. When I send out an email, um, maybe it's not getting to them. You know, um, depending on the account balance, I make phone calls, I leave messages. There's also um, a, a lot of people do not know that they can um, apply for assistance anytime during the school year. Um, if you get on hard times, then apply. So what initiative is the school system taking to assist with this type of instance? We get donations that we can apply to children's accounts um, to try to offset anything. Um, and then if there's anything left over at that point, then it's discussed between the school and central office on how to handle things. In Athens, Jasmine Bird, Fox 54 News.